So here we have the essential eight categories and how we can solve them with Microsoft products. Microsoft are great because they just make it easy for us to reach our essential eight goals. There are tools that assist us with every single one of the essential eight categories, and some of these you'll already be licensed for. Microsoft even has a template and dashboard that's specifically labeled and designed for essential eight compliance, and I'll show you these shortly. Microsoft Intune is one of those products, if you have not already switched for it for device management, you're missing out. You can audit all applications being used in the company and build an approved application list for deployment and block these with Windows Defender application control. Asset management of devices are performed by Microsoft Intune, Windows Defender for update vulnerability database scanner and notifier, notifying you of any vulnerabilities in your network, and then WinGet for automatic third-party application updates. Intune's attack surface reduction rules help deploy the necessary settings for browsers and macros, and Windows Defender helps block these threats. Just-in-time access built into Azure Active Directory helps the automatic adding and removal of admin rights to users. Windows Update for Business has streamlined the whole process for workstations with auto patch. Cloud App Security enables you to find web services currently being used by your users that are not protected with single sign-in or two-factor authentication. And Microsoft Azure Backup and Site Recovery helps protect your data and restore in the event of a disaster. And these are only some of the tools and features and functions that can help with Essential 8. When we sit down with a customer, we usually determine what products they own to remediate each Essential 8 item. And again, Microsoft made this super easy for us with mapping of these products to a maturity level in Essential 8. I won't go through all of them today, but they couldn't have made this any easier. Windows Defender and Intune got mentioned a lot in my previous slides. Not only can this help with Essential 8 maturity, it gives you combined protection overall due to its zero trust. But one of the challenges I've seen is companies understanding what they already have access to. I've personally seen organizations with top tier M365 E5 license, which has Windows Defender for Endpoint and 365 bundled in, but the devices have not been onboarded or enabled to best practice. And even worse, a lesser product is being used for email or antivirus security, meaning the company is now paying twice and they're not even getting the best result. There are various licenses that can help you out with Essential 8, from the business premium SKU for small to medium businesses, up to the E5 add-on or E5 full license. And Andrew can help you with licensing questions on these. While we're on the topic of the E5 license, take a look at this. A Microsoft built Essential 8 maturity tracker and dashboard, awesome. Now think back to what Andrew spoke about, about creating a common language. Imagine as an IT team being able to present this to your quarterly board meetings. You're now the hero and trust is an all time high. Assessments in a compliance manager enables businesses to work with controls, accept updates and export assessment reports with this common language. The dashboard gives you easy visibility of current score, previous score, future score, which is designed to be shared with the business and auditors. So we've discussed consolidating security items into a single vendor and how Microsoft ties into the Essential 8. Hopefully this now has you thinking of how you can reach your goals a little easier. Now let's take a look at Microsoft and how it's become a massive security giant in the recent years. I think the next graphic paints a great picture of this. So you're looking at the Microsoft Intelligence Security Graph, made up of 1.2 billion devices with 1 billion users, which produce a whopping 24 trillion signals a day. They say data is the new oil. And because data creates knowledge wealth, knowledge wealth allows you to make better decisions and create better solutions. As a result, Microsoft security platforms are made of nine interconnected data sharing security pillars, as you can see here. This helps you protect your identity, devices, data, and applications. So how does all this connectivity help us with our day-to-day -day protection? Let's take a look at how these can help be helped together to stop an attack in real time. So keeping it simple with a similar situation that Andrew raised earlier, let's see the benefits of an integrated Microsoft solution. So a user gets a malicious file via email or USB. Microsoft 
defend that endpoint, attacks, detects the attack, raises the alert, and it's smart in its response, so it disables the user access to company data. But it does keep the device connected to the internet so you can work on a remediation. With hybrid working model now, users are out the office, so a company can no longer wait for someone to come back into the office to clean or rebuild their computer. So MDE remediates the threat automatically, which is great and easy for me, and then automatically restores access to the company data. It then shares this information with other endpoints on the network to fix those as well. Awesome. Other smarts then come in. As the Microsoft solution logs a new attack and builds new threat intelligence to stop where the threat came in and removes it, in this case via email. So the magic you're seeing here is it's identified the threat on an endpoint, it's remediated this on all endpoints, and then it's removed the initial threat at the source. So back to disabling the user's access to company data. Because the device is in Azure AD and Intune, we can use this to block the device from accessing Office 365 data, on-prem access, and a SaaS application like Xero, the accounting software. Once the attack is resolved, access is fully restored. For me, this is a game changer. The policy and automation limits the exposure of the attack and the speed of the response and the remediation is instant. The post-incident review is also reduced, which limits the impact on your systems, your people and your brand. So I'd like to encourage you to consider, can you get the same automated response across your platform today? Now let's look at the bigger picture. Overall, Microsoft has a great array of solutions for both insider and external threats. This is an example of an external threat. We have Defender for 365, protecting against email and SharePoint problems. Defender for, Defender for Endpoint, protecting for threats on computer, which we saw earlier. Defender for IoT, blocking unknown peripherals on the network. And all these solutions relay information to Defender with identity information so cloud apps can be used to block exfiltration. Now let's look at the insider risks. Microsoft Sentinel, which is Microsoft Security Information and Events Management Platform, aka SIEM, which ingests logs from all the above platforms, as well as external devices such as firewalls. This is to protect from insider risks such as sharing files by mistake or maliciously.